everyone, it's Dana. Thank you guys for watching. So in today's video, I'm trying the inverse hair conditioning tool. So I'm going to get into its claims and what it's meant to do to your hair throughout the video. So stay tuned for that. But to keep it short and simple, it basically looks like a flat iron, but it's ice. So it's ice for your hair basically so it does come with a user guide and according to the user guide you can use it six different ways in today's video i'm going to be using it three different ways so this has been in the freezer for a very long time these are ice cores so these go in here and these are what you essentially will be freezing in order to have the ice applied to your hair but in the beginning it comes like this with them not frozen obviously and to remove them you just pull this strap and you get them out like that. This is the strap that you would use to pull on. And then to put them back in, I just kind of just do whatever, I don't know, like that, and they're in. Hold on, no they're not. To put them back in, there are two magnets at the very top of it. So you're just gonna kind of do this. Let the magnet snap on, and now it's in place. So I'm going to be doing the first method, which is accelerate drying. So wash, inverse, blow dry. Those are the steps. So my hair is washed. Now we're going to inverse. Just brushing my hair out. I'm going to section my hair and I'm going to start passing through. Super weird. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> I need a glove. This is like the weirdest thing ever. So Inverse is the world's first hair conditioning system using the power of ice. Inverse locks in moisture, keeping hair irresistibly healthy while making it soft and smooth with great shine and definition. The more you use Inverse, the better the results. You get restored health. Inverse repairs your hair at a micro level, giving you healthy hair from the inside out. Stronger hair means less breakage. It's that simple. So apparently it gives you stronger hair. Locked in hydration. Inverse locks moisture deep inside each strand, keeping it in a beautiful, healthy state for longer. Nourishing your hair from within results in a silky, smooth feel. Lasting effects. Using inverse after heat styling can help achieve a more permanent set. So those are the claims. It says over time, coarse hair will begin to soften up. Limp hair begins to strengthen and increase in volume. So the ice cores that I showed you, obviously they go in the freezer when you get it. It says, I believe that you should keep them in the freezer for at least two to four hours. So it says you could keep them in the freezer for as long as you need. So I've actually had them in the freezer overnight. I'm noticing that my hair just feels super soft right off the bat. Like it feels cold, but it doesn't feel wet. It just feels cold. Like this side just feels really cold and it feels just really soft. So I watch tutorials on their website because I like to be educated before I get on camera, as educated as I can be. And they say, go through a piece of hair multiple times and that's better than you going through one piece of hair really slowly one time. That's why I'm going at a pretty normal pace and I'm going a few times. You don't wanna do like this and go really slow. They say that's not good. So the next method I'm going to be using this for is after this, I'm going to blow dry my hair. After I blow dry my hair, I'm going to use this again and then I'm going to flat iron it and that's supposed to help condition before heat. Do you guys like my short hair? It was long. Obviously, if you've seen my videos, it was a longer length. I had been working so hard to grow it out and I ended up going back to my typical length. I had this length all throughout high school. I always just had this length and it feels so good to be back because I just, I don't know, I love this length on me. I think it's really nice and it flows really nicely and it's just like the best. I got a cut on my birthday. My birthday was the 6th of May and I went to the hair salon and I just got it chopped off. My mom was like, you spent all this energy, time, and all this money on these products to grow out your hair, and then 
you chopped it off. I was like, yeah, I'm satisfied. Like, I never really had long hair and if you check like a few videos back, that's the longest that I think I've ever had my hair and I'm satisfied. I did it, got over it, and now we're back to short. <laughs> so I'm good, I think we're done here. I can honestly tell you that it did dry my hair. I'll say it dried it about like 50%. What do you guys think? It was a lot more wet than it is now. It's still wet. It's, it went from wet to damp, okay? So that's what it did. It did accelerate the drying in that sense. By the way, this does come with a spritzer. It's like an ice spritzer that's supposed to make this tool work, like work even better. But I didn't buy the ice spritzer. I figure for $120, you should work on your own and I should be able to see different results. I shouldn't have to buy something with it. I feel like it's definitely gonna work on its own. They just recommend another product as an extra, but it should work on its own. So I am using it on its own, but it also does come with a spritzer. It's like a little spray that you can use. I'm not using that in this video. So now I'm gonna go run and put these back in the freezer and I'm gonna blow dry my hair and I'll be right back. So I'm back, I just finished blow drying. I didn't blow dry perfectly, but I blow dried. Blow drying took maybe 20 minutes, it was super quick. So I do think that it really helped with the drying time. It felt a lot more wet than it was. Usually when I blow dry my hair and it's pretty wet, it takes me a few passes to dry out the hair. But with this, I didn't have to pass through right away. It felt wet. But I would pass through once and it would completely dry and it would do what I want it to do. So it was a really quick blow dry, <laughs> which I appreciate. Um, but I just went and got this out of the freezer. Now I'm going to be using it again before I flat iron. So this is the conditioning before heat, I believe. Yeah, so wash, blow dry, inverse, heat treat. So now I'm gonna start at the top. So, so far my hair feels pretty normal. The only thing that I've really noticed is that it did accelerate drying time. So I'm going to put this back in the freezer for two hours. I'm gonna flat iron my hair and just kind of hang out for a little bit. And then I will be back to see the part that I'm really excited for, which is what it does to my hair when it's flat ironed. So I flat iron my hair and I'm just going to now, hold on one second, let me read it for you guys. So now we're going to protect and set after heat. So that one is wash, blow dry, heat treat, and then inverse. So I did the blow drying, I did the flat ironing, and now we are going, it's hard to put this back in, I keep struggling. And now I'm just going to go over my flat ironed hair. It's getting very shiny right now. That's what I'm noticing right away, is my hair is, I don't know if you guys will ever notice because my hair is so dark, but it's so shiny. So much shinier when I use this, when I pass through with this. So again, you want to do a couple of quick passes. So again, you want to do like a handful of quick passes rather than one slow pass. I will tell you guys, my hair feels very soft, very soft, and usually it feels really soft, but I have to put serums in it to get like a little bit more shine or a little bit more softness. But this is helping with the texture and overall feel of my hair instantly. Like I can tell with the texture and the feeling that there's a difference and also the shine that there is. In comparing like this side and that side, all you really notice is the shine, but also this feels so much more sleek than this one. This feels almost as though I put an oil in it. It just feels so sleek and this feels like regular hair. I just want to mention I did flat iron my hair but you can set curly hair with this and you can use it on naturally curly hair. You don't have to have straight hair to use this even though it's shaped like a straightener. Um, if you have wavy hair or curly hair heat styled and you'd like to set it, you would pass, like let's pretend this is wavy, you would pass normally. It's not going to manipulate the hair straight or do anything like that. It's not going to ruin the hair. I'm still passing through. <laughs> Trying to make sure I get every hair. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna put some hair frizz. I'm gonna link everything that I use down below. So my crocodile clips and the hair frizz, hair frizz, and the frizz serum. This is a really nice frizz serum. I was able to find one that was sulfate free. I initially discovered it because I was looking for a sulfate free hair serum. And this was the one that popped up. It's actually by L'Oreal, but it's not at my drugstore. So I had to get it on Amazon. It says it's 100% vegan, so there's that. It just says humidity protection and weightless shine. I really like this. Love the serum. So I gotta like back up because my head's cut off. Let's back up. So let me tell you guys my final thought. So looking at the claims right away, the smoother feeling. Nourishing your hair from within results in a silky smooth feel. From the first use, I could tell that my hair did feel silkier. I said that earlier, but especially when I started passing the flat iron through the hair, it felt very silky. So that claim, I will do a check for. <laughs> Lasting effects. This is true. If you use anything cold after you heat treat your hair, it's going to set the hair in place because it's going to make sure it absorbs all the moisture in case you didn't do it perfectly. You know, hairstylists, they do it perfectly. They get all the moisture out of your hair. It's very hard and tedious to do it yourself at home. That's why they always tell you to use a cold shot for the blow dryer after you blow dry a piece. You use the cold shot, it's doing essentially the same thing. It's going to you know, lock the style in place a little bit more. So that's true. Hydrated hair has more defined curls, less flyaway, improved color, and noticeable shine. All I can really tell you from first use is noticeable shine, less flyaways, first time use, I don't think so. And for the curls, I can't comment on that. <laughs> Do I think that you guys should invest $120 in this system? If you have the money to do so, it's one of those products that, it's a great invention, amazing invention and it's it's gonna do what it says it's gonna do because if you just research cold and hair you're gonna get all the benefits that it does for your hair so obviously it's something that works and obviously I love the shape of it I love how easy it is to use it versus any other method that's like a DIY method this is very easy to use and it's realistic especially for people that normally heat style their hair this is easy to kind of slip into your hair routine it's not gonna be so much out of your way or tedious. If you're someone that, um, you know, puts a lot of money and effort and energy into your hair and you're like me and you're obsessed with your hair and something that you really take care of, then you might really enjoy this and you might want to invest in it. If you're someone that's like, doesn't really care so much, then maybe not, you know? It's something that you're gonna have to care enough to consistently use, you know? It's just like a hair mask or something like that. If you don't see yourself doing hair masks regularly and if you're lazy with putting a hair mask on your hair or a deep conditioning treatment then don't get this because it's the same kind of concept it's something that's conditioning your hair and something that you have to be willing to use and do over and over again in order to get the results and your money's worth basically so that's all up to you and what you do normally in your schedule and your routine and just you you know <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in my next one